Hello and welcome to the demo for Alien Life Lab, a game you can play on itch.io. Um, if you want to buy it, it's like uh, 10 bucks right now, but I wanted to go with the demo because I wanted to play the demo. Yeah, it's weird. There's no sound option, so I can't uh, adjust it, so hopefully it doesn't get too loud. And there it is. There's a place for intelligent beings to come together in uh, this, this place that we're at. A little green alien men. Well, green aliens, I guess. I shouldn't say men. I have no idea what the what they are. We got some uh, different types of aliens. The uh, control screen kind of went pretty quick, so... I am going to see if I can do this with my controller. And apparently my cat thinks now is a terrible time for me to play games. Because she wants to play, which... I'll have to... Well, she'll, 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 she'll have to wait. It's going to be really difficult to play this with only one hand. Alright, uh... Ah! She, like, clawed my back. Okay, so this reminds me a little bit of Alien Trilogy or maybe even Alien Resurrection. I'm a new wildlife handler on the Alien Life Lab. Phase 4, don't you touch my shit. She's okay. Oh, yeah. This seems to be the source of our problem right here. There are six hollow sockets in this wall so those six crucial nerves were ripped from this fleshy wall. All right, so we need to find them. Hello, Mr. Dude. Okay. What about you, dude? Welcome to Alien Life Lab. Nary Tutter, nice to meet you. What is this little guy? What, what happens if I shoot one of these guys? <laughs> wow, seven hundred fifty thousand dollars upgrade. Uh. I mean, I guess it's like the future. I mean, I guess money is easier to get. I don't know. Yeah, let's pick stuff up and throw it. Oh, what are you? Hello, robot. Good to see you. Gerald Draconids? Draconids. Thanks. I'm no biomechanic, but that sure don't look right to me. I like this. She's from the <laughs> South. I guess she's from, like, uh, Georgia. Maybe Alabama. Maybe even Texas. Oh, I feel so bad for her. You know, I, I, the reason I say I feel bad for her if she's from Texas is because, uh, you know, given this is the future, I would assume if Texas is still around that she has no rights anymore whatsoever because Texas is um, a terrible state for uh, rights. Actually, I think the, the rights are terrible for anybody that's not a generic white guy. 
in Texas. That's why I don't like Texas anymore. I might be a generic white guy, but I also think everybody else should have equal rights. Ugh, anyway, I'm not here to talk about politics. What is what is what is this? Like a little um alien Pokemon thing. That took like way too much ammunition to do. Ooh, great coin. You know, it's the future and they couldn't afford getting some good lights. Kind of insane. Yeah, this definitely has uh, old school PlayStation 1 first person shooter vibes to it. Oh, I, I didn't want to go through the vent. I just I thought maybe it would be something to. Uh... Jeez. I'm gonna be like far more cautious because I can't see these things until it's too late. My little robots, my little drone or whatever is them. Um... Well, it's useless. Just like come to the other side of the, uh, the level. Oh, okay, there's my health. I've been trying to like figure out like where's my health uh, actually at, and it's the the bar on the right. Get out of the way, robot, drone, whatever. Hmm. Well, I do have ninety-two thousand credits. The future looks bright as far as uh, making some cash. Pistol bullets. That was like impossible to, to kill. Oh, I have. Man, I didn't realize that I actually had uh, something. Soda, med pack, pistol drinks. Yep, uh, need those. I didn't realize that I had a melee weapon. Um, can I use that for a while? She's at least pretty strong. So the vibe for the game, like the atmosphere, is really good. Alright, it seems like I have like a a repair pack, possibly, but I don't know how to use it. Movement, look, and rank, blah, blah, blah. Use health back. Alright, I use the health back. Very disappointing that it uh, doesn't really do much in the way of... healing you. Uh. 
I hope I don't need a medical degree to operate this thing. Yeah, I don't know which thing you're talking about, but... I would agree. Alright, we put some serum in it. Now, how do we turn it on? I'm really not sure what what that did. Oh. Oh, we have a crossbow now. I made a weapon. Sweet. Mm, you know, I seem to have like oh man. Bringing the little little monsters. It looks like my drone tries to be of assistance here. It doesn't really seem to do a very good job, but it what at least tries. You know, I I don't know what you're looking at. The trees? You're confused by the trees? Or this little guy? Hey, little I'm guy. I'm sure glad he's in there and I'm out here. Me too. Differ. Now we did it. I expect if you're going to be sticking around, you're going to be watching my back. Success. Hey you, get back here. Too much ammunition spent. I do like that we are able to buy stuff. Um, like ammunition. Um, I think that's certainly pretty helpful. Better buy a couple of these just because. I don't know what the soda does. I don't think I'm gonna buy it. Oops. All right. I always think it's funny how in the future, well, you may be hired to um, kill things, you know, and fight creepy monsters or participate in some degree of combat. They always have it to where you have to, like, buy your own ammunition. And that seems, like, super weird. And it's, it's definitely at a price that is uh, much higher than it would really cost them uh, to make it. Because I think it's like... I mean, we're talking like pennies to create ammunition in today's society. Um, you know, at least for like small arms fire. Um, so that we're spending, you know, thousands of dollars in this game to purchase bullets. It's kind of nuts to me. I mean, it's just... No, corporate greed. I kind of feel bad about killing these guys. They're so cute. They're like little angry chinchillas. I never had a chinchilla. I've never actually seen one in person, but I have seen them on TV. Like in um, nature documentaries. Now it looks so cute. And also in like various YouTube shorts, you know, and they're like, oh, it's a ch chinchilla. And it's like, neat. Huh. This game looks, um, looks kind of like an actual legit alien. 
from Alien. Should I shoot this again? No. Well, that was a waste. Oh, I didn't I didn't even expect that to explode. Which in hindsight I probably should have expected it to it to explode. Oh, this room reminds me of a place I used to work. There was a um a room that um separated certain things. Uh it was essentially like a fire door, but the floor was pretty jacked up and it needed to be fixed. I wonder if it ever got fixed. Like, um... Hope so. There must be a switch around here somewhere. Well, we got another little creepy crawly here somewhere too. I'm gonna assume it's upstairs. Makes sense. <laughs> Hello, alien. <laughs> Goodbye, alien. Oh, I took like far more shots than I expected. does play really nicely with the controller. Oh. These things. I feel like there's supposed to be like a jump scare. No switch. No idea really what I'm looking for, except for a switch. I mean, I know I'm looking for a switch. station um, I don't know if I buy it like it doesn't necessarily like it is cool like I think it looks nice but I don't know that I really buy into this being a station because it doesn't really seem to be built in a way that, that that really makes a lot of sense Okay, so I just ended up back downstairs. Alright, well, I guess this is a time to take a second and drink some more coffee. Alright, coffee, drink. I'm very tired. Did not sleep well. Ugh, yeah, so. Doing my best here, but I couldn't, I couldn't sleep longer. So I got up. You know, I get up in like the usual time. Same day every day for the most part. Alright, where is the switch? I already hit like a gate switch, you know? Like, I, I don't understand where this other gate switch is that I need. Um. You know, I don't want to pick up the barrel. I want to find how to progress. I would like to, um, maybe this is a switch. No, it's like a fire extinguisher. Well, 
I don't want to spend like too much time running around here in circles trying to figure out where to go. Like, and I already hit uh, the gates, already hit a gate switch, so I'm confused. I thought for sure that would have opened whatever gate I was supposed to open. Oh, is it a flying monster? It is invisible. It's underground. Seriously? Yeah, it's underground. Oh my gosh. The monster's underground. I can't kill it. You get... Well... I guess this is going to end up being... Like, yeah, okay. So it's, I'm going to get killed by the monster that is surviving underground. Um, when it happens, I'm just going to use that as the opportunity to call it good. Like, that's going to be the end of this video. Um, overall, like, it's a pretty cool game. Like, I, I definitely th like the setting. It's... Um, it's quite cool. Um, definitely gives me some old PlayStation vibes. All right. I already hit the switch. What is I mean? Like, what am I supposed to do? I can't. I cannot kill this guy. There we go. Well, there you go. That's just the kind of general first impressions of alien life lab and aside from the alien that survived in the floor i i definitely had a good time um yeah definitely recommended uh you could buy it but you could also play the demo to see if you like it uh which i would suggest just to just to see anytime there's a demo you should always play the demo to see if it is exactly what you want in any case the link is in the description and thanks for watching